Well, hi, this is Custom Works, and I'm Clint Allen. And today's quick tech talk, we're gonna put together an injector. And if you want more detailed information, go down into the description and see our injector series playlist. And also down there, we have all the sensor playlists for sensors on your 7.3, our tech talk videos, our hands-on videos, our debunking videos, and a lot more easy for you right down in the description. Come on and join the community. But let's get going here. So we've got the tip right here, the nozzle tip. Right here, we've got the injector pin, then you have two of the smallest alignment pins, and we'll put those in there. Then we have the injection barrel. Now this barrel has one side that is squared and one side that has a tiny little bevel in it, so make sure that you put the bevel down. Then we have this puck right here that goes in there. We have this spring. We have this pin. We have alignment pin. alignment pin we have this system right here you get new ball bearings in every kit ball bearing goes right there you got a tiny little puck that goes right there then you have the cover that goes on Next, we have this unit right here. A new ball bearing goes right there. Then you take your clip, your cover, slide that on, and make sure that the hole in this clip is sitting on top, not kitty wampus, not sitting off center, but it's sitting on top of that check ball. And we set that on here. We got two more alignment pins. Just like so. We take it, we invert it, we take our barrel, slide her up into place. Make sure that your pins didn't fall out. Now I've already pre-done this just for the speed of the video, but beforehand put your O-rings on. It's much easier to do it right now. Chances of nicking them is just very minimal to absolutely none. So there's that. Then we have a spring, we have the injection piston, then next we have this barrel right here. Inside is a o-ring that you have to install right here for speed, I've already installed it. Then we have this o-ring right here. That goes on, then you have your metal retainer for the O-rings. This is the one that in my video where you break down the injector, I told you to leave on. Take your second metal ring, install that.
then make sure these open parts of the rings in order for you to install are sitting on the complete opposite sides of each other. Then we take the square o-ring, put that on, make sure you take your fingernail and run that all the way to the bottom. Then we have the last o-ring that is round. We install that, run your fingers around it, and make sure that it's set in place. We have this one extra ring that we installed, and that's to stop blowouts over time. So we have that. Next, we have the driver piston. Set that on in here. You put a little oil on the inside. Press it into place. Push it all the way down. Now you got two pins that, alignment pins that are inside here and they have to line up with this. So you take it, set it in here, grab the nozzle. There you go. I'm on my alignment pins. Now I push down and I turn. I'm on the threads. Every kit, you're going to get something similar to this to turn this down, and it's 75 foot pounds, 101 Newton meters. All right, 75 foot-pounds. This right here, keep this in mind. I'm gonna turn this here. So keep this teardrop in mind. This is the bottom of the injector. This is the top of the injector. So let's take our clamp here, our clamp down. Set that on. So teardrop, bottom. This is the top because this is where your oil diverter goes. Next, we have the top plate right here. Install your o-ring. We got that. Right here is your oil diverter hole. Right here is your oil diverter. We have the guide for the poppet. And we have the poppet shim right here. This is actually how you shim the injector. You don't be putting little stupid washers on it. To get more in-depth information on this, go to the injector basic Pro build in the injector series down below. And that'll show you what to do with this if it's off. So your screws go here and you install this on the bottom. Make sure it's in place, give it a little bit of a twist. That's ready to go. We'll set that right here. We got the pop it. This poppet has to be in a specific direction. Right there is where it needs to be. This is wrong. When it sits like this, it's wrong. It's gotta be like this right here. Then I take my spring, set that in here. I'm gonna take some oil and I'm gonna pre-prime this system to make it easier when you fire the truck. 1540 oil. Fill her on up to the top. There we go.
take my plate. Don't forget, you got the little hole up here for the oil diverter. This is the top right here. This is where your oil diverter goes. When I'm talking oil diverter, that's what I mean right there. Take my four screws. Set them in place. When you get the kit, the kit always comes with the bits that you need for everything. All the parts are going to be in that kit. You also want to try to find a kit that not only has all the O-rings, but obviously has all the check balls and put new springs in right away. Don't get the basic one and then a thousand miles, 10,000 miles down the road, you end up having a spring break and then you have a off running or runnability problem. So once again, this poppet needs to be sitting like this, not top to bottom, side to side. So I'm going to adjust that a little bit. Next we're going to put the armature on. You always get a new armature screw with the kit. Armature has to be in a specific direction. If you want to learn why the poppet and the armature have this direction, go to the Pro video build and it will give you a full explanation there. Use your adjustable, hold it in place, tighten it down. We're good there. This right here is, is the adapter. It's going to have a hole on this side and a hole on this side. Take yourself an eighth inch drill bit, drill this out. This goes to the bottom. Next we have the armature solenoid and as you can see this armature has to be sitting like this here's the bottom here's the top because this solenoid sits like that let's get those in there Crisscross, tighten them on up. Run them down snug. We don't want to go crazy here. Got them snug. I'm just going to come through and lightly give them a little bit of oomph. A little bit of oomph. Don't go crazy. We're not trying to hold a bumper on. Just a little solenoid. So we got that. We got the copper washer. Makes no difference what direction this goes. Put that on like that. So this does not fall out when you're installing it in the truck. Put a little bit of super glue underneath there and that'll stop it from falling off. And what we've got here is one fine rebuild, quick like a bunny. I hope you've learned something today and you take it easy and you have a good day.